हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू एजुकेशन फॉर यू एंड आवर टुडेज टॉपिक इज परमिटेशन एंड कॉम्बिनेशन सो फ्रेंड्स परमिटेशन एंड कॉम्बिनेशन इज वन ऑफ द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फॉर ऑल काइंड ऑफ कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स रिलेटेड बी बैंक एग्जाम्स एस एस सी रेलवे यू पी एस सी सी सैट एंड प्लेसमेंट ट्रेनिंग्स इन ऑल द एग्जाम्स यू कैन फाइंड क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम परमोटेशन एंड कॉम्बिनेशन एंड फ्रेंकली स्पीकिंग फ्रेंड्स परमोटेशन एंड कॉम्बिनेशन इज वन ऑफ द वेरी सिंपल टॉपिक विच यू कैन गेट इन मैथमेटिक्स फ्रेंड्स लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द कॉन्सेप्ट एंड फॉलोड बाई दैट वी विल बी सॉल्विंग फ्यू प्रॉब्लम्स सो नाउ फ्रेंड्स वॉट इज द कॉन्सेप्ट इन परमोटेशन एंड कॉम्बिनेशन सो दीज आर टू डिफरेंट वर्ड्स सो दीज आर टू डिफरेंट वर्ड्स आर देयर so permutation for arrangement of things we use permutation see many a times you get the question like how many ways the letters of the word so you may get a question how many ways how many ways letters of the word letters of the word letters of the word maths can be arranged letters of the word maths can be arranged so friends wherever you see the arrangement arrangement is nothing but permutation and wherever you see the selection selection is nothing but combination so friends in probability so in probability we have used much of combinations so you would have seen the selection in probability like there is a bag is there in that three blue ball four white ball is there so what is if you are selecting one ball out of it then what is the probability that will be white ball so friends wherever selection will be there selection will be combination and wherever arrangement will be there arrangement will be always your always your permutation so friends these two terms you have to understand there will be one more difference in permutation and combination is friends permutation order will be important permutation so i will write here so permutation order will be important order will be important whereas in combination whereas in combination order will not be important whereas in the combination order will not be important order will not be important so friends these are two different uh, differences between permutation and combination which you have to keep in mind mind now how order will be important and how order will not be important that we will understand so friends if they ask you in the question how many ways letters of the word maths can be arranged so friends see if order is not important here and if you write a first and then m t h s letter then this word meaning will change see this is maths and this is a m t h s which does not have any meaning so order will be important in case of permutation but combination see you have to select so in what order you are going to select it doesn't matter see four white ball is there now you select the first white ball or second white ball or third white ball or fourth white ball it does not matter in case of selection so friends that is the only reason i am saying permutation order will be important whereas in combination order will not be important now friends if we we'll talk about the permutation then the formula for permutation will be npr now what is npr and what will be equal to what will be equal to npr so n factorial divided by n minus r factorial so this will be this will be npr formula now friends what is the meaning of npr so this is arrangement of npr is nothing but arrangement arrangement of r it arrangement of r items r items out of out of n items so suppose you have items or you can say things so arrangement of n things out of n things or items so this is the only thing is permutation npr where p represents permutation so it will be npr in case of combination which we had already seen in probability will have ncr so friends this is very much basics of permutation and combination and now you know how to deal with the factorials so i will tell you once more here n factorial will be equal to n into n minus 1 into n minus 1 into n minus 2 and you have to come till 1 so if you have 5 factorial then it will be 5 into 4 into 3 into you have to expand till 1 into 1 so this will be 120 so 5 factorial will be equal to 120 so this is how we deal with the factorial now once we will do one problem then we will be able to understand what exactly will be the question in permutation and combination and how we are going to solve that so let us start with the question number 1 so question number 1 friends in how many ways the letters of the word money can be arranged so friends you have the word money so in how many ways the letters of the word money can be arranged so i will give a simple example friends if i ask in how many ways the letters of the word abc can be arranged so friends let's see how we can arrange so the first one will be abc the second one what you can do c you bring in middle and then b at the end then third one what you can do you start with b so bac fourth one will be bca and then fifth one will be cab 
and sixth one will be CBA. So there are six ways. So there are six ways in which. So there are six ways in which the letters of the word ABC can be arranged. So friends, if we have if we have n distinct letter. So if we have n distinct distinct meaning means see A B C all three are different letters. See if we have A A B then then the arrangement will be different. So if we have n distinct letter, if we have n distinct letter, then arrangement will be nothing but n factorial. Then arrangement will be nothing but n factorial. So friends, here you have money. So money is what five letter word. So money is what five letter. So in money, how many uh, letters are there? Uh, how many you can say the letters are there? So M O N E Y five letter. So this can be arranged in five factorial ways. And five factorial is nothing but five into four into three into two into one is equals to one twenty. So you may ask the question, sir, what if two letters are same? So that I will be explaining you in the part two. So in the part one, so we can we are learning here how to what is the number of ways the letters of the word can be arranged right friends so if it is n distinct letter then it will be n factorial and i have given an example and i have shown you so abc abc is three letter word so abc is having three letters so in how many ways it can be arranged three factorial three factorial is nothing but three into two into one which is nothing but six because abc all three are distinct letter now in how many ways the letters of the word rainbow can be arranged so friends you can see here all the letters are all the letters are different all letters different all letters are different so if all letters are different if all the letters are different so seven letters are there all the seven letters are distinct all the seven letters are distinct then seven factorial ways rainbow can be arranged now seven factorial is nothing but seven into six into five into four into three into 2 into 1. Now friends, 5 factorial will be 120 which we calculated here. And now 120 into 6 will be 720 and 720 into 7. So 0, 7 into 2 is 14 and then 7 into 7 is 49 plus 1 is nothing but 50, 40. So there are 50, 40 ways are there in which the letters of the word rainbow can be arranged. So friends, I hope you understood both the questions and the concept of permutation and combination. Thanks a lot for watching the video.